Good morning. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning. Welcome to Daily Fresh Manna. We continue with our theme for February, Arise and Shine and Do Not Look Back. Our message for today is Arise, for we are being transformed. Hallelujah. Our scripture is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse number 18. Arise. For we are being transformed, my brothers and sisters. We all who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory are being transformed into his image with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. The glory that the Holy Spirit has imparted to us, the believers, is more excellent and lasts forever compared to the glory that Moses experienced in the Old Testament. Because of God's grace, by us gazing and looking at the nature of God with unveiled minds, we can be more like him, Christ, our Savior. The veil has been removed for us believers. We can see. The separation of mankind from the Father was restored through the blood of Jesus Christ. Before that veil ripped, no one could communicate with the Father except the high priest, and they were only allowed once a year to open the veil and put the blood of the Lamb of God onto the ark, which held the Ten Commandments, the jar of manna, the Aaron's rod that budded, These are the oracles of God that were inside of the Ark of the Covenant, and no one had access except the high priest once a year on the Day of Atonement to atone with the blood from an animal for the sins of the people once a year onto the Ark of the Covenant. And now how privileged we are and how ungrateful we can be and sometimes we do not realize the privileges that we have been given the value of the finished work of christ we have been given everything much more than the days of moses and the people of god then the veil was ripped christ removed the partition between man and god We find in Luke chapter 23, verse number 44. Now, it was about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Then the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was torn in two. As we have been given the good news of salvation, as we understand that the word of God given unto us, as we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, we are being transformed day by day as we walk in faith and truth and obedience. But the great precepts of the gospel, believe, love, obey, and truth are stated as clearly as possible. And the whole doctrine of Christ crucified is made as plain as human language can make it. Those who lived under the law had a veil upon their hearts. This veil is taken away by the doctrine of the Bible about Christ. When any person is converted to God through Christ, then the veil of ignorance is taken away. The word of God transforms us morally as we understand it and apply it. Through the word of God, we find out what, is, what God is really like. How do we find out what God is really like? Through the word of God. As our knowledge deepens, the Holy Spirit helps us change, becoming Christ-like. We have light, and with open faith, we behold the glory of the Lord. We, as true believers, should prize and improve these privileges. We should not rest contented without knowing the transforming power of the gospel. We must know the Holy Spirit and yield to him and his voice with promptings. 
by yielding to the working of the Holy Spirit. He will bring us to seek and be like the temp- be, be tempered and tendency as of the glorious gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and we, be, we will be one in union with him. How do we know we are in him and he is in us? First John 4.13, this is how we know that we live in him and he is in us. He has given us his spirit. Romans 8, 29 to 30. For God knew his people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son so that his son would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. And having called them, he gave them the right standing with himself. And having given them right standing, he gave them his glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God's ultimate goal for us is to make us like Christ. First John 2, 2 to 3. Dear friends, we are already God's children. But he has not yet shown us what we will be like when Christ appears, but we know that we will be like him, for we will see him as he really is. And all who have this eager expectation will keep themselves pure just as he is pure. As we become more and more like him, we discover our true selves, the person that we were created to be. Yield to the Holy Spirit as he transforms you into Christ's likeness. Jesus states in John 15, verses 1 to 5, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes it so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. And no branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. And apart from me, You can do nothing. We, my brothers and sisters, are being transformed into his image with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So arise, my brothers and sisters. Don't be sleepy. Don't get weary. Arise and climb, as we were saying. Arise, my brothers and sisters, for you are being transformed into his likeness. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your supernatural favor and grace. Your word declares that you are the resurrection and the life, and therefore, Father, we declare that we receive and walk in the newness of life. Your word says, Heavenly Father, that if any person be in Christ, that we are a new creation. All things are passed away, and all things have become new. We declare that we walk in the new. We declare that the old thought patterns and frames of mind and relationships and behaviors are dead. We take off the grave clothes associated with the old man, and we put on the garments of our resurrection. We declare that every incriminating thought, suggestion, or imagination that exalts itself against the knowledge of God is cast down in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that we think differently and we embrace a new spiritual paradigm. We are not the same. We are a new creation born from the Holy Spirit of the living God. And we declare that the old has been done away and that the new has come into manifestation in our lives. 
In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father, that we are being transformed into Christ's image. Glory to God with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father, and we bless your name. As we arise, we are being transformed. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Every day is a brand new day that we have never seen before. And another day that God and the Holy Spirit can continue to do is transforming in our lives, in every conversation, in every relationship, in our prayers, glory to God, in our thoughts, in our minds, in our emotions, every day is a brand new day for God to work his work within us as we be transformed into Christ. Praise God, likeness, Christ likeness. We thank you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our Lord, and we say amen and amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters, and we will meet tomorrow, praise God, as we continue with our theme, Arise and Shine and Don't Look Back. God bless you. Love you. Have a blessed day. Bye now.